Good afternoon, has and ashes. We are in Manila. We're in uh, the, the house in Manila right now. <clears throat> it is the 24th of December. Happy Christmas Eve, everybody. <laughs> but um, there's a but. Bless Ash is still not feeling a hundred percent. Yeah. What's going um, what's going on, Ash? It's struggle city in here. But yeah, I I have no idea what's happened, but I think I must have caught whatever Harry had the other day. Um because we've kind of got all the same symptoms. Um so yeah, that's that's the vibe right now. I've actually managed to stomach two bits of white toast this morning, which I'm really happy about. And they haven't made me feel like unwell. So it's only up from here. Yeah, we're gonna take it super steady. Having a really chill day today. Yeah. Um, gonna get a takeaway for dinner or something. Watch some Christmas films. It's never nice, you know, seeing someone you care about suffer. You'll be, Ash will be fine, you'll be fine. Yeah. But it's just, you know, it's just not been nice. It's quite, it's quite, it's quite, it's been stressful, right? Because, really stressful, yeah. you know, no one likes being ill, especially with like something like, you know, food poisoning, kind of sicknessy things. Yeah, it's, it's really hard, especially when you have a phobia of being sick. That's not nice, very challenging. So I yeah. think that's also causing me a lot of stress. But yeah. just being real with you guys, but we're yeah. going to call our families today as well. But anyway. Yeah, we are packing up now. So as you can see, uh, Matet and Tita Meng, who are here at the house, have like kindly done some washing for us. So we are gonna pack up everything here and put it all in our big rucksacks. And then we're gonna get a grab to um, some sort of surprise. So basically, welcome to part three. This is part three of the Philippines and it's Harry's birthday slash Christmas and all the little surprises that come with it so stay tuned love you all okay we're off we're going we're off we're off oh no. <laughs> we need to we need to have a um, a big goodbye where, where are they there's there's Kobe Bye, Kobe. Right, here we go. Ready? Sp Spider-Man, here he is. Woo! Say bye. We'll see. Ah, oh, see you later. Bye, guys. Say see you later. <laughs> bye. And happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> happy birthday. Thank you. Bye. Well, we are back at it, everyone. The backpacks are on. We are back in full mount mode here in Manila. Oh God, a bit tight here. Just had the sweetest drop off ever from Matet, Nornoy and the kids. They were Matet's um, niece and nephew, I believe, right? We're just getting a grab now to this uh, surprise accommodation. Those kids were so sweet. They were like, get us in the vlog. <laughs> right, we're looking for NAE. Okay, we've just stopped here waiting for the grab. Behind this car is a traffic enforcer. Here he is. Instead of traffic lights, you have these guys who literally direct the traffic. You know, I guess they take it in shifts. And look, they just stand there, literally stopping and moving traffic. Okay, guys, so just arrived at, oh, just arrived at our accommodation in Manila for these last two nights. Uh, it's like a complex called Shore 3. We've just got into our room and here it is. We have our little, little, our little, little kitchenette. We have, this is our little bathroom. Beautiful. I mean, the decor is so sweet. Lovely bathroom. We've got a little microwave, fridge, bedroom. Very lovely. Ash, you've absolutely smashed it. <laughs> I was thinking like because it's Harry's birthday in the morning we can like chill here and like yeah oh. and, then, and then I'm not feeling too well I think we're gonna have a takeaway tonight 
so we can sit up here. We've got Netflix, so we can actually connect to Netflix and watch TV on here. Oh my, this is a proper like Christmas movie setup right here. We're away from home. I just wanted us to feel like really comfortable on Harry's birthday and Christmas. So. We have a balcony, which we've not actually been out onto yet. Oh, this way. So we got a little view. We're pretty central Manila here. Oh man. Well, Merry Christmas, everyone. Thank you. I love you so much, Ash. I love you. You're the best. <laughs> Harry's not good with like sitting and chilling in just like one bog standard like room light. Clinical white LED light. I don't struggle, I just dislike it. I just prefer a warm, lovely light. I don't know why, but it <laughs> really has an effect on me. Really has an effect on me. Beautiful, like side light at the side of the bed there. That is a warmer light. Look, then compared to the white light. <gasps> I'm in heaven. We're just uh, just heading out now to the SM Mall. Check out the lighting in here. Thank you. <laughs> We're gonna just split up for a little bit to go and do some little bits and bobs. Not sure what's going on. Ash is feeling a little bit better, aren't you? Maybe. A little bit. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Only one house we can slay, dashing through the snow. Hi guys. I don't know if you can hear me very well because I'm in the shopping centre, but I just thought I'd check in with you guys. It's Christmas Eve, 24th of December. I'm feeling a little bit better um, because I've been suffering like with food poisoning. So great timing, you know, but I'm basically out and I'm gonna start getting some little bits and bobs for Harry's birthday. So his birthday's tomorrow, Christmas day. I'm gonna basically go and pick up a cake, go and pick up like a few little bits and bobs for him, just so he can like have in the morning. And then the plan is to actually, we've got a pool in the area that we're staying. So we're gonna use the pool tomorrow. And then I'm actually gonna bring him back to the mall and take us out for massages and because I know he really wanted one and we haven't been able to get one yet and then in the evening I've got a whole dinner booked for us a buffet dinner so fingers crossed I'm feeling better for that but yeah that's the plan okay so Ash and I have just gone separate ways in the SM mall I'm uh, yeah gonna be going to uh, go and have a little wander around and uh, yeah people asked me as well they were like oh does the Philippines celebrate Christmas like you know how similar to home is it gonna be like do they really even celebrate it out there maybe this will answer your question happy holidays I've never seen a bigger Christmas installation in a shopping mall mad so i wanted a uh, nail polish so i came and i'm in a watson's right now and i'm just picking out um i'm actually stuck between these four colors here um these four browns so i think i'm actually gonna go for this one just because it's got like a, a hint of black a little bit more so and i feel like it will go more with my outfits that i'm planning on wearing okay everyone so it is Christmas Eve. Ooh. We are watching a little bit of a Christmas film. What are we watching, Ash? Christmas on Mistletoe Farm. We're watching Christmas on Mistletoe Farm. Oh. We, uh, oh, London. Oi, oi. We've, um, I've done that. Oh, I've been there. Oh. We've got a McDonald's takeaway, McDonald's spaghetti, fries, fried chicken. I've already demolished the Big Mac. Um, we're keeping it fairly chill tonight. Ash is still trying to feel better. Merry Christmas, everyone. Hello. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, happy birthday. <laughs> I've just woken up, guys, and I've been surprised yet again. Ash has got these little cupcakes. <laughs> Some fruit, a little candle. Oh, we should play the candle for the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> P. 
Beautiful. Slightly yeah. flat, but beautiful. Slightly flat, but we had no matches, so I thought this was the next best thing. Yeah, and then I literally passed, because basically they don't do salt and vinegar Pringles really out here. And I saw these in the shop yesterday. I went, oh no, I'm, I'm not going to get them because we've already got loads of food. But Ash got me some salt and vinegar Pringles as well. <laughs> so this is our little breakfast, birthday breakfast. And then the other thing was... I wanted to throw up some balloons, but I'm too weak. I can't blow them up. Yeah, so um, I woke up and um, she like lifted up the balloons and was like, I wanted to blow them up, but I can't because I'm too weak. She's still recovering from, I think, the food poisoning that I had because I think I've given it to her. Bless her. But it's okay. It's okay. We're going we're gonna to just keep doing, keep doing it. Also, this is a good time to explain to the vlog what this means. Oh, yeah. Basically... Uh, before traveling, I bought a ring from Nottingham and it had like a little wave on it and I used to wear it on my pinky. And uh, when we were staying in the Ryokan in Japan, I left it on the side on in the room and it like fell off and fell on the floor and I forgot to pick it up and put it back on. And basically the whole meaning behind the ring when I got it was because I, like, I knew that during traveling there'll be times where it'll be really challenging and you know, things will go wrong and you just gotta ride the wave. You gotta ride it out and see it through. And so because I lost the ring, I was like, well, I just gotta ride the wave. And now I used to wear it on this finger. So whenever anything goes wrong or challenging, I like just do this to Ash, I go. Mm -hmm. So if you ever see us do that, it means ride the wave. What's happening, Has? Still Christmas. Still Christmas. Still Harry's birthday. Slight change of plans today. Yeah, um, it hasn't gone the way we wanted at all. Basically, the deal is, um, Ash isn't very well and has a like a tummy bug. There was plans today to like you know we we're gonna go to the mall. We we're gonna like you know go for dinner tonight and everything. But when you have a tummy bug, you can't do a lot. You know you got to rest. You got to stay hydrated. You know, everyone knows what you got to do. Point is, there's no point in doing any of that because Ash wouldn't enjoy it and I wouldn't enjoy it. So the whole day now has just been about getting Ash to try and feel better and feel relaxed. So yeah, we've just been chilling out. We tried to leave earlier to go to the shop. As soon as Ash stepped out the door, she didn't feel right and uh, we had to come back. So I've nipped out. I've got some spaghetti and some little vegetables. I'm gonna try and cook up something, but I've just gone to the kitchen. Um, mm, there's nothing to cook with. There's no saucepans. Uh, so I've been out and bought ingredients to cook with to try and cook Ash like a clean meal. And there's no saucepans. The universe is not on our side. It's not. But I might try and find a way to, to do this. Okay. It's now just gone six o'clock in the evening. We're going to chill. We're going to watch some movies. We're going to have some food. I've, I've ordered food on Grab. But yeah, I think, what am I trying to say? When things don't go to plan, you just got to go with the flow. And, you know, what's giving me happiness right now is knowing that we're doing what's best for Ash. Because there's no point in doing anything else. I wouldn't enjoy it. Ash wouldn't enjoy it. So, yeah, we're chilling. Just need to get on top of this because it's really been debilitating for Ash. Um, yeah, we thought we'd be a bit real with you guys and let you know what's going on. But we're still we're still good. We're still keeping the positivity up. Yeah. And it's still Christmas. Yeah, and so, Harry's birthday. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I'm going to check on this toast. Cause I think Best boyfriend award goes to yeah, I'm gonna check on the toast. I think he might be burning. Good morning, has and ashes. Mm. It's Boxing Day. Boxing Day. Woohoo! The time is almost uh, 20 to 12. We're checking out at midday, and then we're actually gonna go to the hospital to go and get a like a medical opinion on what's happening with Ash. So yeah, we're gonna head straight to the hospital. From there, we'll either go to Matet's house and have our last little bit of time with the family. Or, depending on how long we're at the hospital and how Ash is feeling, we might just head straight to the airport and wait there until our flight, which is this evening, at 11... 
Is it 10.50? Mm. 10.50. So yeah, that's the plan. We've just been watching Spongebob on the TV. Yeah, this little last vlog hasn't gone to plan really, but to keep it real with everyone um, yeah. we're on our way to Ho Chi Minh City for New Year so we're gonna go there we're gonna get ash better and then by New Year we'll be cooking with gas we'll be ready to go and the rain stopped the rain has stopped Manila is looking beautiful oh yeah the lighting hey there you go that's better yeah we're gonna go and what else is there to say <laughs> Not a lot, just that we love you all and we hope you had a really Merry Christmas. Yeah. And with all your loved ones and your family, we are really missing ours. Yeah. But we, we called them yesterday, so that was nice, but. Here we go, Boxing Day. We'll keep you posted, lots of love. Update, we made it to the hospital. We've got all of our bags with us. Annoyingly, the accommodation we were staying at didn't offer like a holding bag service we've had to bring everything with us ash got a little wheelchair to be honest, the service has been fantastic we got a grab into the er we were seen straight away we've been taken straight to our own little private bed insane how are you feeling ash nervous yeah hi guys little update for you just done some samples so waiting to get back from there i'm gonna get a drip you just don't want to leave the Philippines, do you? <laughs> okay, so update. We have the drip in. We've got some sort of lovely uh, liquid to rehydrate Ash and make her feel like a million dollars. Here we go. Okay, Ash, what just happened there then? Doctor just came. We're just gonna wait now for the results and see how we go. Fingers crossed, I'm okay. We've been watching uh, how they made the Squid Game challenge on Netflix. Oh, Hi, it's okay. sorry. Okay, doctors come back and told us what's what. Basically, um, there's no parasite, um, which is good news. Everything's okay. They've just prescribed her a probiotic. Um, uh, some medication to help her digestive system basically. Lots of water, rehydration sachets. Here she is, out in the open. We've got our bags. They provide a wheelchair service for patients. Ash got in a wheelchair and I was left with all these bags. I'm very, very impressed with um, the health care in the Philippines. What have we paid in total? Maybe like 15 quid or something? What, for all my treatment? Yeah. No, like 80. Like 80, 90 quid. The speed at which I got seen, the way I got treated when I was in the hospital, it was all great. They were amazing. I've got some medication, so yeah, I'm not going to go into detail. I've got to medication to hopefully help me feel better. But yeah. You're an absolute trooper and everyone home is cheering for you. They're going, we love you, Ash. Boxing Day hospital trip. We're gonna get a grab now back to Matet's house, have uh, some final goodbyes, and then head to the airport um, with Matet and Nornoy. My hospital. This was, uh, what was it? San Jose Hospital. Beautiful. Ash is having her first bit of food today. A chicken and ham salad sub. No sauce, no cheese. Just pure health. <laughs> We had a crazy journey here. We got a grab. The guy was like smoking an e-cigarette. The whole car stank of like strawberries or something. He was just repeating himself. He was so tired. He was been driving for like a whole and he day. Missed our exit. Yeah. And then he dropped us like not at Terminal Three at a McDonald's because he wanted to get dinner. <laughs> so cheeky. We were gonna go to Matet's house, but. The traffic is so bad that we actually stopped the journey early and we're gonna meet Matet and Nornoy at Terminal 3. Bye everyone! Bye, bye Nornoy, bye Tita Bay, bye Matet! Woo! Hey everyone, so we're here. I've just grabbed a little bit of food. Ash is... Uh, I'm not really hungry. It was a very quick goodbye because 
there's lots of cars coming by. They were so sweet, they came all the way out to the airport just to kind of see us and say goodbye. Lots of love, Matet, Tita Meng, and Nornoi. Thank you so much. We love you guys. The end of part three. Not gone the way it's um, supposed to have gone, but we moved. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, I don't think I ordered that. Anyway. Uh, we love a bit of a free iced tea. Bye Philippines. Bye Philippines, we've had a very lovely time, but I can't lie, I'm ready to go. We love you, we'll miss you. Bye! Bye! <laughs>